LMD Magazine and EFM present Biz Talk, taking an in-depth look at today's biz landscape. Welcome to another edition of LMD EFM Biz Talk. Today we're speaking to Gihan Karunaratna, Oman Air's country manager for Sri Lanka and the Maldives. Thank you for taking the time to speak with us, Mr. Karunaratna. To begin, tell us a bit about the evolution of Oman Air's operation in Sri Lanka. Thank you for having me. And Sri, uh, Sri Lanka was the 32nd destination for Oman Air. We started operations in 2009 with uh, four flights a week. One year later, we increased it to seven flights a week. And in 2012, we went up to 11 flights a week. Today, I'm pleased and proud to announce that we have 14 flights a week. And uh, we have a healthy load factor of uh, over 80%. And we will continue to support Sri Lanka in the tourism growth, connecting the Middle East and Europe into Sri Lanka via Oman. And we will make Oman a very attractive hub for people to travel through. Apart from bringing tourists and this thing, we are also involved in other activities. One of our main events is the Oman Air Golf Classic, where we bring people from all over the world to participate with our golfers and businessmen. What are the global trends you see in the aviation sector and what is Oman Air doing to stay ahead of the curve? The global trends is people are getting more choosy, more fussy and uh, you have to keep expanding your network, expanding your, uh, improving your product. So in 2015 Oman Air launched a program of expansion. Uh, the present strength is we have 42 aircrafts. By 2018 we'll have 57 aircrafts. By 2020, we'll have 70 aircrafts, and our fleet, the average age is, age is 5.6 years, which is pretty young fleet for the industry. Uh, new aircrafts also means reduction in maintenance costs, so we are looking at that. Apart from the aircraft uh, increase and expansion, at, uh, in 2015, the Muscat International Airport had 7.6 million passengers going through the airport. Now, in order to uh, cater to the ever-increasing demand of the passengers, we have embarked on the uh, 1.8 billion airport ex expansion program. And uh, the first phase will be completed next year which will allow us to cater to 12 million passengers annually. And the expansion is in four, uh, in four stages. At the end of the fourth stage, Muscat Airport will be geared to handle almost 50 million passengers traveling through Oman. As far as the Sri Lankan tourism industry is concerned, what is your opinion on it and what are the trends you can see? I think as of today, Sri Lanka tourism is in a very healthy state. And uh, we've seen an increase of traffic from China and India. And uh, last year we had over 100,000 visitors from the Middle East, which is the market we are interested in because we are very strong in the Middle East. And uh, Sri Lanka itself is a fantastic destination because we are one of the few countries who have the beaches, the landscape, the cultural heritage, and a lot of unique experiences within a short space of driving distance. So the increase from uh, the Middle East was 13.6% over the previous year. And Oman in particular, uh, 2014 we had 10,000 visitors. This year we had 13,600 visitors. So we, uh, we are very well placed as a country and I believe tourism will continue to grow with the new hotels coming up, new programs of expansion coming up in the country. What are Oman Air's key markets around the world and where does Sri Lanka fit into your strategy? Yeah, our, one of, uh, our key markets are Europe and uh, this helps tourism. Obviously we as Oman, we want to promote Oman as a tourist destination from Europe and from the Far East. And where Sri Lanka is concerned, Oman and Sri Lanka together is beautiful multi-destination multi holiday packages. So we will continue to focus on Europe for tourism into Oman and then on to Sri Lanka. What are the threats the aviation industry faces on a global scale? Yeah, the, there are a few major challenges. One is safety, one is convenience, other is convenience, environmental 
and financial sustainability. Today, I believe Omania, we, uh, we take every precaution for safety, which is one of our top priorities. And the second issue where convenience is concerned with the expansion of our network and aircrafts, people will be able to move about more freely. And with proper planning and control, the cost has to be managed. When it comes to service standards, what is Oman Air doing to stay ahead? Your customer satisfaction is of paramount importance to Oman Air. We continue to monitor our service level, service quality, and keep on updating and upgrading our services. The latest thing Oman Air has introduced is Oman Air Service by Design Dining Option, which is a facility available for first class passengers on the Oman Air website where they can design, book their meal the way they want it 24 hours prior to their departure. So we will continue to innovate and come up with new ideas to keep the customer satisfied. How exactly has wireless technology affected Oman Air and the aviation sector in general? Yeah, Oman Air was the first airline in 2010 to introduce Wi-Fi on board which allowed free connectivity for all our passengers on their uh, emails, on their phones they were able to receive and I believe this is the way forward. Everybody has to stay abreast of technology to be competitive, to be easily accessible while flying. What are Oman Air's plans for the future as far as Sri Lanka is concerned? We will continue to play a pivotal role in the tourism industry in Sri Lanka. At present we have 14 flights. If there is a need for increased capacity, we will continue to support Sri Lanka as well as connect the world via Oman into Sri Lanka. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Tune in every Tuesday and Thursday for more insights from our business community. You can also log on to efm.lk and lmd.lk slash lmdtv for a visual experience of this time.